Hi guys and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial. So today we're going to be doing more of a, uh, well, more of a European type coastline. We're actually not going to do the, well, we've done the Mediterranean one, which is more dry, but obviously not not desert-like. Uh, but what I want to do is one that's a little bit more lush, a little bit more green, um, and also the rock colour gets a little bit darker. What I'm planning on doing on my map is having, dun dun dun, so it's the big blob that we've got here. Um, from that last episode where we did the Mediterranean coastline, I've continued that on down here a little bit. But I want to get onto this bit, which is going to be mostly the European kind of styles, my me medieval European styles, if we actually bring this map up. Like uh, Tudor, Baroque, Gothic, and Victorian, and all that kind of stuff. Um, it's going to be around this area. I want to start getting that coastline in um, pretty much around this area here, going upwards. And then on this northern coast here, we'll get more... Probably into the more kind of like um, Scottish style um, coastline for around this bit, uh, and then more Nordic type stuff around here, which will be um, kind of a bit icy. Maybe some fjords and stuff like that will will probably get get factored into these bits. So it's it's kind of kind of want to have a mix as I go around. Um, and I thought I'd do an episode on it of just looking at that style and, and trying to get it. It's pretty pretty much going to be the same. Pretty similar. Uh, the only thing I did want to say, and I did put this in a comment on the last video for um, the Mediterranean coastline, one of the things you can do which makes it look really good is using biomes to actually paint over. Um, so what I've got here, if I actually just remove a big chunk of it, there we go. So right clicking on that, let me just start pretty much from scratch. So say we've got this area here which is like the Mediterranean coast, and you can see I've done quite a lot, it looks really cool over here, and I'm still doing bits of detailing. This one was really easy because it's like a little headland um, so I could really go uh, quite nuts with it uh, whereas this one because I'm not sure what's going to be behind it yet I've kind of tried to leave it a little bit more cliff like and um, we've got quite a few beaches and inlets and stuff there's there's some really good beaches on this um, as I've been messing around with it um, but yeah anyway what you can do is there's a tab down here called biomes and what I used for the Mediterranean coast uh, to finish it off is using savannah you could also use like desert and stuff like that I just thought savannah kind of worked whereas when we go onto the desert stuff over on this side, uh, I'll definitely be using the, the desert stuff, um, you know, the, the desert biome. So I thought it was quite a nice biome. Uh, one thing I did do is I used the only on and selected terrain and then grass and then just painted that over. So it only goes onto the grass, which means that the auto biome, which is down here, it says uh, auto biome like deep ocean, ocean, river. Uh, and then you also get, well, you got planes for this, this bit of sand I'll, I'll be doing. Uh, something around that as well. I, I usually do a big brush to kind of, uh, not brush, a global operation to fix that because it's much easier. So yeah, I, I pretty much just paint around here. At, at some point I'll be, you know, dotting around. I've, I've got a pretty harsh brush, uh, but I'll be smoothing out that line. But most of this, as you can see, is all savannah. Um, biome. So yeah, you can do that. One of the other things that I've done, which I've changed between the episodes, if you are following this as kind of like uh, you're building your own map and, and you're watching what I'm doing, um, as oh, if we go into edit and dimension properties and default terrain and layers, I've actually put my uh, grass layer up two blocks, which means that I get an extra, I get basically four blocks above water of sand. Um, I just, for the beaches, it just needed to, to kind of work that way, otherwise it was just looking way, way, way too shallow, but this seems to, to work, especially like around here. Uh, and I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like currently. So if we just go into here, um, I'll show you kind of some of the, the stuff that I've done and advanced on uh, the Mediterranean coast bit of it, because it's kind of like a catch up as well, these tutorials. Um, so if I just do time set 6000 or something. So I've got some pretty spiky bits around here. I've, I've kind of naturalized it a lot more, as you can see. Uh, I've got this cool island over here, um, which should be pretty good. Got some beaches, I think actually over here on this side. I'm going as fast as I can, aren't I? Yeah, uh, yeah, kind of like little beaches where I've got bits of broken, broken land. Um, I'm still not sure about this bit. I'm trying to make it like a jaggedy coast. Um, yeah, but I, I, I'm not sure about that yet. I might flatten that down. I'm going to mess around with it a little bit more. Uh, so over here, I've got a, a pretty cool little island. Just using the brushes again. Uh, so I use the same thing that we did in the Mediterranean one with the cliffs. And I need to smooth out around the water. Definitely, wow. That goes way too steep. Way, way, way too steep. So that's something I need to sort out 100%. There we go. So maybe I'll do a little island one when I've got it bright. Uh, but I've just built a little island here, and I thought it was kind of cool. I, I just used the cliff layer um, to make like quite a harsh cliff over here. And, yeah, just kind of built up another cliff layer and, and then just moved around it as well. So I might make like a little really small castle. It's pretty small. 
Um, the area is, is pretty small, but might make a little castle type thing on here, and it'll just have you know like a walkway down this way. Small wall, not not even one you can go on, just just a small wall, and then it goes down to there. Maybe there's going to be a dock there or something. Um, but yeah, I've really tried to put in some good beaches. Uh, we've got some really big outcropping of rocks over there. Uh, these I've been doing quite a bit of these as well, where you get these bays, which I think are really cool. Uh, and I've brought the sand up a little bit, so that kind of really works. Come on from that, so there we go. It's got some more cliffs, um, some more beaches. Again, kind of similar kind of stuff. More and more beaches and more and more beaches. But you can see what the savanna biome does. It just makes the it makes it look a little bit more Mediterranean, a bit more a bit drier, um, but still quite cool. So yeah. Um, so that's what we got. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be extending this coastline on, but trying to make it a little bit more European style, um, or, or well, pretty much British coastline style, really, is what we're going to be doing. I don't know about this bit. I'll change that later on. I don't like it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get onto that next, which will be all the way over here. There you go. Look at that beach. See, that looks like a natural beach to me. It's like a little where it gets where it get caught, maybe coming down. Maybe there's a river from this, but I don't know. We'll see what happens later on. So yeah. Let's jump out of that. So that's what we're going to be doing over this way. So I'm going to turn off biomes because it it just really annoys me. Um, when you do show, if you untick that, you then have to, I think you have to click off something or click onto a material or something. There's some way to get rid of it. Why isn't it disappearing? There we go. Okay. It just got stuck. That's fine. Um, so yeah, the, the kind of coastline that I want to make is like a bit of darker rock. That's what I'm thinking. Like more of this type of thing. This has still got some light in it, but I want this more darker stuff. So actually, I'm going to have to jump back into the game. And again, I'm going to use this here. So I've got the light cliffs, I've got a gravel mix, and I've got coastal grass. Uh, so now I'm going to have um, uh, like kind of grey cliffs, which is just going to be it. So I'll kind of generalise these a little bit more. Uh, so we go. Grab that. Okay, so I'll shove that on the other screen. Um, so what I'm thinking about for this, because we went for those two... Let's grab those two materials. Because we went for these two for the, the light, light stuff. Um, and that's just in the Conquest mod. So I've used Diorite and I've used the Uncut Marble for that. Because I'm using mods to for this map, really. What I'm actually going to do, though, is I'm going to use stone. Um, granite. What does granite look like? Can't even tell. Well, yeah, actually, they don't they don't look too bad. Stone, granite, uh let's see diorite. I think that was what I used here, wasn't it? Yeah, so I don't want any diorite. Stone, granite, and maybe even andesite. So we start to get that kind of mix. So we get like all three of these rocks in and it's nice and simple then. I don't know what else is in Conquest Mod that might work. Eh, yeah, I don't want any of these slates, I don't want to go that dark yet. Grey and pink granite, okay. Let's have a look at that in a second. So, yeah, pretty much all I'm trying to do is just pick a couple materials, but not too many. Because I get told off for that. Not so keen on that. I think that will work for the darker stuff. Um, or, or like, the red rock stuff. So, what I'm going to go for is, <laughs> is actually default blocks for this. Right, so we've got uh, granite, stone, and andesite, which is one... Right, so there we go. Let's go for this. So I'm just going to write them on the other screen. So stone, which is one, uh, colon one. Uh, we've got, uh, what was it, granite, which is one, colon, no, one, colon zero for stone. One, colon one for granite. All right. There you go. I'm just typing away on the other screen. And andesite, which is one, colon five. There we go. So all I've done is just shove this on the other screen for now. Um, I'm going to use the same kind of stuff as light cliffs. I think I've actually changed this as well when I did the Mediterranean one. I actually did, I think it was 50, and I've now changed it to 45 just to get more rock in. Um, so there we go. There's the settings for that. So I'm going to just leave those on there. So grey cliffs, uh, stone, granite, and andesite. Those are just the materials I've gone for, which is pretty grey. Can I just do... Yeah, let's go around this side. Um, I can't see around that side either. So here we go. If I can find a nice spot where we can actually see. Because this all gets deleted anyway. So the reason I've gone for these is because we'll get like a weird kind of mix really. Not not so much with that. But 
these two, granite and andesite, uh, granite and stone, look pretty similar. And then when you get the darker ones in, the andesite, I think it might might work. It might not. We'll see what happens with that one. Um, it might look okay. I, I it actually might look. It might not work. So we'll see. I really like the the mini map though that's in on Conquest mod. This is awesome. It makes the coastline look wicked. Right. Anyway, so let's get onto it. So we're gonna go for something that's more like a bit lower. Uh, we don't want to really go for this gigantic mountainous thing. Um, but I think let's have a look. Let's have a look. And Google Images is the best. This type of coastline, I think, looks pretty good. Where's that? Simona Coast State Beach. Okay, it's interesting. But yeah, whip through. Loads and loads of them, and see what you can kind of come up with. Um, I'm actually going to look for Cornish coastline, which uh, I would. I live in Cornwall, which is in the UK, um, and it's kind of got a pretty good coastline. It's like this type of rock, and it's got like really big. It's really weird. You got like a, a stiff cliff, and then you've just got uh, hills that go up. But it's more like this. That looks really stormy. Wow. Okay. Um, but we get stuff like this in, in our in our rocks, and we've got lots of beaches. It's quite nice. But um, yeah, I'm trying to look. Whoa, that looks awesome. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where that is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to find a good picture. See, this is what I tried to do with some of the other beaches. Um, good picture, that kind of thing. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for, like a darker rock um, with more hills on it. So that's what I'm thinking. So maybe it won't be as low down. But we'll see. So maybe well, this is quite low down actually, isn't it, compared to the rest of the hills? So maybe we will, maybe we will lower it. So let's go. So that's Fistral Beach. Oh yeah, that's Fistral Beach. Huh. Um, right. So what I've got is I've got my my other bit. We're gonna have to do some mixing in at some point. Now I've got the rough coastline here. You can see there's no real like color to it at all. And this bit here is gonna I'm gonna do like a little inlet mountain thing. I'm gonna have like a, a, a probably a port around here or something. So I might even make this come in a bit more. Um, and we've got a river there. That'll be interesting. So I've got to make sure to cut enough room out for this river. Um, and put in some mountains and things. So yeah, mixing it in is going to be a bit of a nightmare. First thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to just grab my terrain, go on the spray, take it off, and I'm just going to do this. Because that will at least change it. So I'm just right clicking. So I'm just set it default essentially. Um, so I've got to remember that this bit here is different, so if we just go up to here, maybe. Right, so, first things first, let's, I think this can be pretty strong. This is already cut all the way back there, but that's fine. We grab uh, the height and raise lower terrain type of thing. What we're going to do is, again, at or above, well, doesn't really matter, at or below, we're actually going to do 41. So before, in the Mediterranean one, we did... Um, a, lower, uh, a higher brush of 48, so we're going to do 41. Um, we're also going to grab, out of all of these, I'm going to use the Tall Mountain one, which is really, really harsh. Um, it really is. And I'm just going to grab this out, just pull this forwards, all of this stuff. All right. And I'm not going to I'm not going to worry about this bit that I've done over here because it's a join. But I will have like a little bit of a breakaway maybe into this bit and do it quite sharp. Eek, there we go. Right. There we go. Let's grab that up and we'll just pull this in as well. I'm just going to use that as a thing. And this guy kind of like the same, so you just do like small brushes to make them really, really intense. I kind of want to have right here just a bit where you've got like gravel and stuff that falls down. We use the same gravel brush that we used before because it's nice and simple then. Right, so over here, what I'm thinking of having is a beach. So I'm going to bring this up to like here, for example. This is going to be like a, a cliff like normal. Uh, I'm actually going to bring this cliff all the way up to here. There you go. Oh, that's cool, doesn't it? Look, there's a tall mountain. It's got really good sharp edges. And then we're just going to use small brushes just to push it, push it out a little bit. There we go. And then around here, this is going to go back a bit and just do that. And then what we'll do sorted out this massive brush and just push this forwards a little bit and a smaller one around here just to make a kind of really crunchy thing there right <laughs> I don't think crunchy things is the right word I'm actually gonna use the smooth brush as well right here uh, just to smooth it out a little bit all right 
And I think what we need to do... Actually use the flatten tool, which I don't always use. But we're going to bring this out here. We're going to make a better beach. Bring that out. So that it gets a little bit flatter. So maybe bring that one out as well. So we've got like this lower lower beach here. We'll have a look at this in a second. So this is kind of like more beach stuff really, isn't it? Um, this episode is more like that stuff. Right. There you go. That in there. I don't know what's going on that bit, but that's fine. And then we're just going to grab the smooth brush and we're just going to try and smooth this out. In a minute, it looks a bit too steep. If we just grab our terrain brush and spray paint and we... Terrain brush, spray paint, right click, there we go. Get rid of all this stuff, including around here as well. I'll just set those to default as well. And I'm going to try... Let's keep that as white cliff and then I'm just going to see what happens with it really. So again on to our custom uh, terrain. We're going to grab this, create a new custom material. We're going to call it um, Greystone or something. Uh, it's it's pretty nondescript. Um, really, because that's, that's more white stone than anything else. Mediterranean cliffs are called them, but really it's just it's white, white stone, isn't it? Because it could be used in like a, a white mountain of some kind or something, couldn't it? Um, at some point, like higher up. There's no reason it can't. So I'll just grab this. I'm going to change the colour a bit to... It's going to have to be a grey, annoyingly. But I'll do it as like a darker grey there. Uh, and we're going to go into complex. And we've got one. And that's data value of zero. That's fine. Uh, we've got one again. And this time data value of one. And we've got a number one. And we've got data value of... Uh, I can't remember. Five. There we go. Like that. And we're going to do blobs. And we're going to do a scale of... Right, that's not worked. I'm going to do a scale of like, I don't know, 20 or something. So it's going to be it's going to be a bit more mixed in, I think. Um, so I'm going to try anyway. Okay, let's do that. Let's go on to our gravel. And uh, before we had above... Well, I'm going to be using above 30 degrees, and I'm going to do at or above 30. And then if we just paint this on. I've been trying not to hit this too much. Just do it around this area here. This is a bit I want to test. Right, first things first, let's just switch off those. and just, Oh, no, that is right, okay. It's going to look right. <laughs> there you go, paste that on there. Okay. Don't know about this bit here. This looks a bit crazy. Right. And custom terrain. I'm going to do above 45 degrees. So same as before, really. Uh, I've, what I've noticed is when I type in 45, it changes the intensity, and I don't know why. Um, and then above, uh, at or above 31 for this, this time. Um, is that working? It might be that I've used the same bloody grey. Let's use... Is that like blue or something? I don't know. There you go. Okay, that's that's better. Right, so I kind of need to know where it is for this. <laughs> kind of a bit annoying, but that's where it is. Right, so let's just paint this. Okay, and now we put our starting point on top of this hill here. Go on to export. And we're going to select the tiles. And we don't need this entire area. This is the region I was testing, so I, I kind of like export a whole coastline and just run down it. Um, we're just going to have a look at this little bit here, including this bit. Start. Oh, actually, I think I might need a little bit more than that. Just have a look, really, and, and see what it looks like. See what we need to change on it. There you go. Put that in there. That's better. Export that, which should hopefully be quite quick. I would have thought so. Okay, propagating light. Wow. Magic. There we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look might look horrible and it might need a tweak and that's the thing right, time set 6000 so I can see properly I'll press that right first things first that looks horrible biome wise um, in terms of the place where it is it does look a little bit too dark I'm not keen on the andesite uh, the andesite is it the andesite andesite yep it is, it's too dark so that doesn't quite work for me not, not with it being too dark. Either that or we have it lower down as in like an andesite layer. I'm not sure. Hmm. But it doesn't it doesn't quite work with 
it mixing in here either. It just kind of like goes from light rock to dark rock. Um, to be honest, it does it does cut off like pretty good. But we'll do some like more mixing in with that. That's fine. All of this obviously is just completely flat at the minute, which looks terrible. Uh, ran a bit of sand there. That's not a problem though. Right, and what else we got around here? See, this is what I don't like. This wall here. Uh, that little beach doesn't look too bad. It just looks like a little catchment. This looks terrible. Um, that shouldn't be. No, it actually should. Yeah, that's that's correct. So we need to sort out this cliff here. Um, fly around, fly around. These bits of sand aren't too bad. It's fine. So it's not. There we go. That looks good. I like this bit of the cliff. We have got a big beach here, haven't we? And this beach looks absolutely atrocious. It just looks so broken up. I need to try and match that around. It's huge as well. My god. Absolutely massive. So let's fix that big beach because that is the biggest... Uh, this bit here, this looks terrible. Absolutely terrible. So let's... What I'm going to do to fix that is I'm going to go onto the flatten tool. And I'm going to use a pretty soft brush. Zoom in. I'm going to grab the layer which... So we've got sand as, as layer uh, height level 30 which is, which is down here. And then if we go to the next one we've got 29. And what I'm actually going to do is undo that. I'm going to do intensity of about 50. Just going to try and push this back a bit. And it should soften it a little bit as well. There we go. I'm just going to try and kick that back a little bit. Alright. Mm, don't like that bit that goes in the middle. But we could do something here to make it look quite interesting. Because if we have a look at this picture... There's a little rocks just like sticking out of it, so uh, because it's a big beach, that's actually not a bad thing. We can we can go with something like that. So grab the height thing, grab the tall mountain. Uh, let's go for number two. Now we're just going to build like a little cliffy thing here. So that's gone to a height of 37. Um, that one here as well, height of 35. Yeah. And then let's do one here, which is like lower, stuff like that. And also we're going to do one like this. I'm just going to go like that. I don't know what that's going to look like. Probably absolutely horrible. Let's go over it a couple of times. <laughs> right, grab the terrain. Grab it like that. Uh, and go onto the sp no, spray brush. Take off the setting thing, my jiggies. Hit on this. Right click and we'll get some bits of uh, grass on it. Then let's go for spray can. Let's put on those custom layers that we've got. Which is gravel. So I've got gravel, which is above 30 degrees. Uh, out or above 31, that's fine. So whack that on. There we go. That's made it really um, crazy. Then what we're going to do is grab our rock that we've got, our darker rock, and our above 45 degrees and above 31. Uh, oh yeah, 30, 31. That's correct. It's fine. It'll be fine. Right, shove that in there. Right now, the other thing we're going to fix there was a bit over here, wasn't there? This bit here, which didn't look quite right. So if we do out or below the 41? Yep. Just bring this out. Like this. Just didn't look quite right around these sandy bits. Wasn't quite cliffy enough. Right, there we go, we've got that. So let's just go onto our terrain again. Right click on that, turn off the settings we've got. Clean up all this. Uh, that one's got that one there. Clean up this entire little bit here. Right, ah, I can see where it's going. Uh, like, kind of not very cliff like. There you go. So, what we're going to do is intensity here, yeah, and that needs to be up for 100. <laughs> there we go. Right, that's better. Let's get something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And what else happened around here? I think that, was, that, that bit didn't look right, or this bit didn't look right. It's a bit too soft, or some bit that was too soft. Uh, that looks okay. This looks okay-ish. Hmm, that was a bit too, wasn't very steep, was it? Get that, and then we'll we'll fix this bit in a second. I'm actually going to use little bits of like these as well. I make it look really broken. Maybe even bring that out. These like little things. I'm going to try and, this this to me, what I'm trying to do right now is take attention away from that transition, right? So it makes it look more interesting around here uh, because of other reasons. Right, spray can. No settings, that's good. Right, we're going to just 
juice these ones. I'm going to try not to touch the white stuff, white cliff. We have a little bit, that's fine. There we go. Right, wipe out that. I think probably this as well. Let's just do this bit again. Uh, those are alright then. I think that's fine. Right, custom brushes. Go onto the gravel, go onto this, go onto 30 degrees. That's fine. And at or above, and that will be. Um, was it 30? Yeah, that's fine. Right, wipe this in. That looks a little bit better. Okay, and put it over these. Like that. Then we'll do our normal stone. Now, what I didn't like was the andesite, did I? So if we just go to this, remove it, we're just going to do okay. We're just going to leave it like that. I don't know if there's any other materials we want to mix in, maybe. Um, from looking at it, that might be enough because it, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit simple. It's the, this beach looks terrible, for one. Um, but I don't think there's any other ones we want, really want to mix in. We've got stone and granite. Stone and granite. I've got enough of a different difference in colour just to be able to notice it, don't you? Without being too much. So is there any others inside the mod that I want to use? Uh doesn't really look like it. None that are kinda of like standing out and saying use me, so that's kinda of good, I guess. Ooh, small stones. It's like a some sort of layer of some kind. Right, that's cool. So I think those two, just just those two, and and really really simplify it. It might actually help with that with this transition here. So if we grab that above 45 degrees, and at or above 31, and what we're going to do is going to have it right. We're going to start from the other side, just around here. Put this in here. Yep. Okay, and we're going to do it on these that around here and then we're going to just go down to this and we're going to use this noise brush here I'm just going to sparkle that in <laughs> don't know if sparkle it in is the right word but you know just on here so you get like a little bit of it then we get a lot of it like that okay right that should look good uh, actually before we even finish that bit up we start to create these. So we've got like cliffs here. This is pretty big, pretty big hill. Um, I think see how this goes first, and then we'll then we'll think about the hill. So let's just export that as well. I think that's a good idea to do it. Do it that way. Do 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 do. Right. Come on. Shouldn't take too long. There we go. It's so bad when you when you have a gigantic map and you start rendering it, and then you realise that you've missed something. It's it's terrible, <laughs> it really is. But here we go. Right, time set six thousand. So look at that rock. So that rock actually, those two materials look kind of good together because you can tell that they're slightly different, but not to a point where it looks terrible. Right, and that's kind of mixed into here now, hasn't it? And it's done some very strange stripes. Very strange stripes, and I don't know why. Why is it done? A stripe here, and a stripe, and that one. That's really weird. Is that just somehow... I shouldn't have done this. This looks pretty dotty, I guess. I guess it's just the way that it's, it just is, isn't it? Because you can only really select a block on the top rather than sides, but what do we get around here? So we get little dots of it. This actually looks okay when it's mixing in. And then it goes into there, so you get like, oh yeah, you would get a stripe like that, wouldn't you? Duh. Um, so that actually it doesn't look too bad. Um, there is some weird stripes in there, which I, I don't understand. These look okay. These actually, these separate from the, the light stone looks absolutely fine. Obviously when Conquest, so textures in Conquest do mix really well, but, but hopefully you're Still, in default, you'd, you'd be looking at this kind of stuff. Um, I actually quite like that beach bit there. I actually quite like that. And then this is all around here. And then it just kind of transitions. So I think that transition is a lot nicer just by using the the noise brush. I'm still not not overly happy about the uncut marble here. Um, it's almost like I wish this this was just that white rock. Uh, you can have marble there. It's not a problem. But 
but it it's not major. Uh, I think the rockiness of it all kind of works as well. Uh, so this all looks kind of cool. Uh, biome wise, need to fix those. That's fine. Uh, really weird square bit there. What the hell's going on there? Let's have a look at this. So this is around the corner from from this. Oh my god, it is there. Wow. Right. Okay. Let's just uh, use the smooth tool, and we're just gonna. Smooth it a bit. Uh, I don't know. Just trying to do anything now. Just anything, really. <laughs> just anything to get rid of that. That is so square. Uh, but I kind of like this because it's like you've got cliffs there and you've got this little path coming down like it's, it's kind of like eroded away over time or something. This looks good though. This looks really good and it mixes in with the gravel really well. Uh, so I really like that. That's cool to me. So I'm happy about this. Right, these. I was expecting them to be a lot, lot bigger. Um, I was definitely expecting this one to be a lot bigger. Uh, at the minute it looks a little bit too... Right, if we have a look at this. This is what I was kind of expecting it to be like that high, uh, and instead we we got we got this thing here. So um, mm, not so happy about that, but we will we'll fix this bit now. So let's let's go to that. This is the thing with with World Painter. You think you do one thing, you then have a look at it, and you go, uh, yeah, because that's only a height of thirty four. Okay, that's why. Right, let's just grab the the tall mountain thing. Let's just build up on this. All right. Yeah, that's, that's gone up a lot higher now. I'm actually going to make this a bit rockier as well. Do some like, weird mounds or something. Just a big brush around here to mould it in. So make it a little bit more rocky. There we go. Right. Same with this one as well. Let's just make that a bit higher. I'll make that one kind of like disappear. There you go, right, so now I'm just going to repaint this little area here. Uh, so let's grab the terrain, spray brush terrain, turn off the settings that we've got on it, put it up to whack the intensity up to like a billion or whatever it is. I'm just going to completely reduce this area. Um, that Don't need to have a look at that, that bit of sand there, it's, it's fine. I really like this one though, that's natural. Um, so then again, custom, and this, this is the thing, World Painter, you'll get so annoyed if you're going to do a really, really tidy detail one, you'll get annoyed um, because you'll be doing it so so often. The same kind of thing. I think this will look awesome now. Um, but that's kind of part of it. It's just the way it is. So that looks like that. We've got the next level of rock, 45 degrees. There we go. And out above 31. Oh, that's really rocky. I don't know what that's going to look like. That looks... By it being so intense, I don't know if I'll like it. So if we just move the dude over here, put that on there. Um, this bit actually we can also rocky up a little bit. So what have we got above here? So we've got level of 48, 47, uh, 49. So if we go to or at or below 49, and we're gonna use the I really like the mountain terrace one. I've 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 found that it just works really well. And the reason I've got this 49 is just in case I do quite a big layer you get like this instead where it's just at 49 then you can start to you can build on top of that if you wanted to or reduce it so there we go let's just build this in but yeah mountain terrace is just i i every time i've used it, it's been great and obviously you can see I'm, I'm gonna have to redo the terrain brushes on some of these bits but it's fine there we go All right let's build it around here as well on this and around here and this time we're going to take it off on this bit here. Do a really wide one just to get this kind of like hilled bit up here. I don't know how tall that is, 65, so that's pretty big. I'll just build, build like a cliff on this as well. I was like ripping through it a bit, a bit weird. Right, so again, uh, we'll do this above 30 degrees type of thing. Just to put it onto this, oh, 300 degrees, yeah. Um, all that stuff and above 31. And I've totally forgotten that I need to do that actually on this instead. On a bloody paintbrush. This is the problem. I, I always forget this. There you go. Put that on there. Just whack that on there. We're just going to redo this bit. There we go. Alright, so we've got that there. One more around. Yeah, a little bit. See, you get little bits like that. Not want to do that. Right, undo. Because I'm quite happy with this bit. And then this, 45. About 41. 
Uh, 31. <laughs> Put that on there. There you go. That looks quite good, because, yeah, that'll turn out quite nice. But it's a lot. Of, once you've got your cliffs and stuff in, it's absolutely fine. Right, the other thing, biomes. God, we, we had horrible biomes before. Oh, wow, that's why. Right, so it's just all painted over this, so I want the kind of tr the, the, it to dry up around here. So first thing I'm going to do is go on to Savannah. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that, just any settings at all. And I'm just going to reduce it completely around this area. Cut it back completely. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to use that noise brush. Okay, edit, undo. I'm going to use only on grass and use that noise brush. And just splatter it around, just so it increases around here. But it doesn't really... So that's just because I'm not on the edge of it. Um, and then what we're going to do for the rest of this bit... Now, from looking at this picture, it's more... It's pretty much just... Well, that's even quite dry. We're going to do, like... I don't know. Uh, probably a nice light one. So we're probably just going to do planes. And we're just going to do a normal brush for that. It's so only on grass. I think it's already planes, isn't it? Auto planes, yeah. So that's a bit annoying, but... Actually, that should just work then. We won't need to do anything. Let's have a look at it. Right, let's do file export. I'll have one last look at it. Okay, so what we've done... Any more bits? Sorry, let's just grab that in case. Um, but that should do it. So if we fly back this way... Yeah, yeah, we'll fly back. We'll f Rah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll fly back. It's fine. So the cliffs we're not too worried about. It's really that big beach. Uh, we haven't even started on this bit over here. We haven't even really even started on yet because it's um. If we have a look over there, there's no, there's nothing there, so there's no real point doing that bit yet. So otherwise, you'll just end up with this weird cut off, and and you end up like spending so much time trying to fix it. I really do mean fix it. <laughs> right. Okay. Here we go. That's a bit more vertical. <laughs> Oh no, it's it's a bit too much now. <laughs> we went from not enough to too much with those crazy rocks. This bit here though, right. This bit here behind it though, these these rocky bits is exactly what I wanted. Um, which is like these really broken down, kind of worn they were maybe cliffs at some point. So that's very, very tall. Uh we've got we've even got here dirt, and that's due to on dimension properties, um, keep steep terrain covered. Downwards on steep terrain, such as cliffs that underground materials never exposed. That should shouldn't work. Top, uh, yeah, maximum depth. Uh, well, that can be maximum of like I don't know, twenty or something. There we go. So if we just put twenty, it should be fine. Um, that should fix that. Pretty much underground material stone mix. I'm I'm surprised that it's come up with that. But that should fix that bit anyway. Um, and stop that dirt coming through. Uh, I'm going to end up like flattening these a little bit, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to end up flattening them. And this one here, that's what we're on. So we're on level 44. That's what we'll do. So we're actually going to go over to this. So that's this one here. Uh, we're going to do out or above 44. Okay, not only on. Uh, sorry, we're going to do this terrain out or above 44. Um, and that'll do it. Right, and we're just going to grab this brush, just any brush really. I'm just going to right click, and that'll just flatten it completely. Um, so it gets a flat top, and if it gets a flat top, that means there'll be grass on it. This one, I think it'll have a different level, which will be at, well, whatever this is, what's this? I can't, I can't even bloody see it anymore. There's a Y gone. Jump, there you go, 40, 49. There we go, right, so 49. There you go. So that should do it because we're only affecting le like stuff above that. Oh, okay. There you go. So that'll fix that bit. And that one. I almost want to really flatten down to about this level, which is 48. Okay. Uh, let's go 47. Let's go 47 for that one. I don't know what brush we've got on. And when we repaint this bit, it'll they'll be different. Um, just because I think they just look too spiky. That one's fine. 
Uh, it's not a problem, but it's these ones, like, they just look like play spires, which is a bit weird. So that's all fine. Right, let's, if we fly over here, let's have a look at what else we've got going on. I really like this one as well, this one. This one's really cool. Um, I almost kind of want to put a, a couple of run, them around there. Let's have a rock things. Right, if we run around here, I quite like that. This is what we've got above here now, so this is where it, where it, what it kind of should look like. So we get these kind of hills that come up. Uh, it's really cool how quickly you can do those. And then we've got this like rock outcrop here. Just kind of a rocky bit, which I quite like. And it's just a big hill, really. Um, it could do with smoothing around the back part of it. But if you have a look at the dotty bit, where we've mixed in the biomes, it doesn't look too bad. Easier with... Probably do it over a larger larger distance, I think. Um, probably where you can't see the dotting. So where you can't... If you can see that line and you can see full of that, that type of biome, that's probably bad. You probably want to have a whole lot of dots in between. But yeah, I kind of like this this rocky thing here. And that goes over to this bit here where we have the uh, transition, which is quite cool. And then again, because we've got a big thing over there, maybe you'll think, oh, I'll go over here and go, oh, there's a cool thing over there. Look, it's a mountain. So, well, not really a mountain, it's a cliff. It's a big cliff thing. But I'm pretty happy with that uh, rock mix, definitely. So that's quite cool. Right, okay, so that's that's kind of worked to get us some of those cliffs. We here haven't even done like uh, anything else. I will quickly show you guys this bit. So if we just, uh, again, we'll have to go on to the spray brush terrain, wipe it out, which is kind of annoying, but there you go. You can see the grass on top of it now, which should stay now. Um, has that got a higher bit? 41, 48, no, okay, so that's fine. And then go on to the custom layer again. I haven't even done the, I haven't done the custom um, plant layer yet. So, I haven't even put that in. But um, you could do the same as my Mediterranean tutorial for that. It's not a problem. So there we go. 30 degrees. And out above 30 total. There we go. Put that on there. Okay, that's, that has still made it all completely rocky. Hmm. Has it not worked as well then? I don't know. We'll see what happens on this. Yeah, just put that in there. It's fine. And I'd go for that bit there. And go for your above 31. About 45 degrees. There we go. So that is still looking very, very rocky. So I don't know what it'll look like. This looks better. So maybe there is some still some random bits of... I think there is random bits of really, really high high stuff. So we'll see what happens. Right, I'm just going to do a sub-select sub of that bit. Because we don't need all of it. We literally just need those there. Let's grab that. Shove that in. See what it looks like. Okie dokie. Right, let's have a look. Grab it. Final look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... What I feared, <laughs> what I feared was true. There is just these random spikes. I d why I must have been using like the noise brush or something. So, right, god damn it, forty-eight. But if you want to make random spikes, now you know how. Just literally random spikes. Anyway, um, I'm gonna fix that off camera. You got the idea of that. <laughs> uh, just I just just somehow mucked it up. Oh, look at that lava. Um, I somehow mucked it up. So that's that's. Just brilliant, really. Um, it's just brilliant, but meh. That's how it happens. So um, anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for this um, kind of video, this tutorial. Um, I don't know what you guys want next. I've I've got quite a lot to do. Obviously, I'm trying to do this as I'm making the map and kind of go through stuff, uh, which is why I like the Mediterranean coast bit. I did a tutorial on that. That kind of I then extended it on. Um, this this kind of coast, I am planning on doing it over to like this bit. So maybe we'll do like a, I'll do a bit on an island type thing over there. We've got lots of room around here as well. So I think uh, probably an island tutorial might be interesting for you guys. Should be. Um, and then we've got mountains and stuff like that. Because if we have a look at the picture of the map that we've got. I mean, we've got proper hills to put in. This is just going to be like coastline. This is going to be coastline as well. Proper hills to put in mountains and stuff. Uh, forests. We've got a lot of forests to put in, actually, um, and vegetation type stuff is, is pretty crazy. The same with the desert, the, the, the swamp land over here, 
Um, all the Mayan jungle stuff as well, and even the cliffs. And it, there's a lot to do, basically. Um, but once it's done, it'll be really cool. So anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Um, there will probably be one more on cliffs to do with uh, fjords and stuff like that. Because it's been asked for before. Fjords and ice, icy coasts, uh, desert coast, type, that type of stuff. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.